It was the busiest time of year for the engines on the island de Sodo. Holiday makers loved to travel to the beach and to see the mountains and the lakes. The engines have never seen so many passengers. They work so hard that their axles ache. All except for one engine from the mainland, and that was Gemma. Gemma is a very clever little tank engine. She has two coaches, Sally and Sarah. They were known as slip coaches. They could be on cover without stopping at every station. So Gemma can run on time without any confusion or any delays. One night, Gemma was in the shed with the other engines. They like Gemma because Gemma is very kind and friendly and talks about everything on the Lancaster Railway. Duck was impressed. You know, Gemma, those slip coaches of yours reminds me of the time on the Great Western Railway, he said. I used to pull my own coaches with a slip coach behind. I named her Shannon. She is very clever and knows how to be on couple at the right time. Gemma smiled. Will you be pleased to know, Duck? She said. Mr. King had rescued Shannon from a scrapyard and had her restore and painted in a great western colour. He's also said that Shannon will come to Sodor to help on the Fat Controller's railway. Doug was delighted. Thank you, Gemma, he smiled. You are a real good friend to us all. The engines agreed. All except James. He was tired of Doug and Gemma's stories. Later, James was taking a midnight goods train to Vickerstown. When James arrived at Vickerstown, he parked his trucks and went to spend the night in the shed. Probably will be much more peaceful than listening to any great western stories, he thought to himself. The next morning, James walked up early, ready for his local train on his journey back. Then, Gemma's friend Basil the Diesel arrived with a slip coach. Hello, he hooted to James. I'm Basil from the Lancaster Railway. I'm going to leave Shannon the slip coach in a siding for another engine to collect her and take it to the fat controller. But James had an idea. He wanted to show Duck and Gemma that he knows all about slip coaches too. Ashley, I'm the engine who is here to collect Shannon, he answered. Please. Put her on the back of my train, and I will be grateful to take her. Basil was puzzled, but he agreed. He shunted Shannon to the back of James's coaches. Some of the passengers climbed aboard Shannon. James puffed proudly away. James puffed along the line. He thought he was being very clever. But Shannon wasn't too sure. I hope James knows what he's doing. Soon, James was approaching Kilden Station. Now's my chance to show Duck and Gemma that I knows best, he puffed. But as he got closer, he saw workmen mended the part of the track. James whistled to warn them he was coming through. But the guard thought that James said he was ready. He pulled the lever and Shannon was uncoupled. A workman waved a yellow flag to tell James to slow down. As he did, it happened. Shannon bumped into the back of James's coaches. Luckily, no one was hurt. But Shannon and the passengers were very cross. 
I won't go with you, James, she snapped. You don't know how to use slip coaches. James gulped. He moved into the platform and waiting for him was the fat controller. You fooled me once before, James, he said, but you can't fool me this time. You deliberately take Shannon with you because you wanted to show Duck and Gemma that you know everything about slip coaches. James felt very guilty. Once you deliver your passengers, added the fat controller, I will speak to you tonight. Yes, sir, answered James meekly. Derek arrived to take Shannon to Napa. When they arrived, Sally and Sarah were delighted to see their old friend. Hello, Shannon, they cheered. I miss you, Sally and Sarah. Smiled Shannon. Before long, Shannon was coupled up behind Duck's coaches, and Duck set off on his first trial. As Duck came to the first station, he whistled to the guard. The guard uncoupled Shannon, and Shannon rolled to a gentle stop. The passengers were very impressed. They thought Shannon was the best coach they had ever travelled on. That night, the engines were praising Shannon. Well done, Shannon," said Percy. "Welcome to the railway," peeped Oliver. "Thank you," Shannon smiled. "I hope you and me will do everything on the Great Western Way," said Duck. Shannon smiled happily. As for James, the fat controller have already told him that he would be doing nothing but good work until he had learned his lesson, and he certainly learned everything the wrong way.